welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. This is a very special vlog because this is my very last week on call ever in fellowship. This is the second applause I've done in two videos now, but I'm pretty excited and we'll try to make this one, oh, my earbuds falling out, but I'm pretty excited. We'll try to make this one a good one. Bring you along for the ride. You probably know this is the 12th week of call or 12th on call week that I've done. So you probably know what we do by now. So we'll just show you what it's like to be on call with me. Let's go. Just a little update. I haven't done anything yet so far. It's about 10, 30, or 10 15 a.m. Still waiting on the first case because the first case was canceled. So we had to find something to fill its spot. But luckily, when there are at least a thousand patients in the hospital, there's always something to do. But I've actually been just sitting here on my laptop, doing some trading, watching the market, because it's a crazy week for stocks. And I'll be doing this until my computer dies or until my patient gets here. All right, so not a bad first day. I uh, did two cases, it was beyond slow. And now I'm headed home because, well, I don't know why, it's just mostly because I'm done. So that's pretty much it. Gonna enjoy this nice bike ride home. almost was about to lay in bed and got a call about an emergent bleed. So I'm back at the hospital to do that. Day one of the seven days. All right, so that went pretty well. Um, if I do say so myself, pretty much blocked off the entire bleed. We used glue this time and that went well. It is now, what time are you here, 10.30? It's midnight right now. And I'm gonna head home. You know, the one thing I hate about coming in, well, I mean, I hate a million things about coming in at night. So I just showered like right before I got here and did that procedure. And then I had to wear lead and sweated that entire time. Now I have to go home and take another shower because I'm sweating. All right, so we are about to do a procedure called a microaggregated albumin injection, in which we'll be injecting MAA into the hepatic arteries. Basically the tumors supplying the hepatic arteries. So the reason we do that is to basically highlight the liver tumor and check the long shunt fraction of the tumor before we inject radioembolic or Y90. So this is basically a trial run for Y90. And welcome back, whoops. So it is Friday. And you may have noticed that I didn't film, oh, you may have noticed that I didn't film anything yesterday. And honestly, I can't remember if I filmed anything on Wednesday night either, because I was here late doing a uh, GI bleed. So I can't remember if I filmed anything, but if you remember from my last video, I get Thursdays off when I take this week of call now. The first half of the year, I didn't get that day off and it was miserable. And essentially that I had no choice but to give us that day off because we didn't want any duty hour violations taking so much call. So we get Thursday off. So I had all of yesterday off, which means today is my very last day ever in my entire life having to cover this on-call room ever. So a couple of interventional oncology cases today, going to be killing some liver tumors. And that's what we have going on. Probably have a call case later on today. Don't even care because Essentially, I have three more days left of being on call ever in fellowship. All right, so it is officially Friday afternoon and I finished my last case ever in room two or the call room. So I will never be in charge of a big room ever again in my entire life. And also you may notice it's not supposed to rain today, but it started raining and I have no umbrella and there is nothing worse and be in New York City and not having an umbrella whilst being caught in a rainstorm. All right, so I'm home. Uh, hold on a sec. Hello. Yes, I'm ready. What's your name? What's your name? Uh, 
Okay, I'll come get it. All right, where was I? Um, yeah, so it's Friday night. Andriana just got off work. She is picking up a sandwich at this crazy, awesome market uh, close by us. And we're going to basically overeat tonight because it's my last week of call. Can't have any celebratory drinks because I'm on call. I still have two more days to go, but at least the week, all the scheduled cases are done. And now I just have to do emergencies only this weekend. And we'll see how it goes. I'll check in if I get called in or in the morning. And welcome back on this lovely Saturday morning. Um, I'm here and not because I have cases, but because I have to round on a few patients. No one's here right now. Make sure I still have my lead over here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't have anything to do today besides round on some patients and let's go from there. So one of the best things about this hospital is on the very top floor, it overlooked Central Park and you get views like this. Whoop. Crazy, right? So this is all Central Park right here. This is 59th Street and all those huge high rise buildings that you've seen in some of my other videos. Crazy, crazy views. This probably does no justice for it. So it is Sunday morning, didn't get called in overnight, and I currently have 24 hours left of my entire life, a fellowship call. And you may be asking yourself, Michael, why are you up so early with a soccer ball in your hand with Andriana oh, <laughs> forcing her to come out with me? That's because I just ordered this because there's a field near our apartment that I, you know, started to play soccer in because it's a good workout, get some sprints in, you don't really notice it and you have fun in the process. So I have nothing to do today unless someone calls me. So we're gonna go to up here in the park, play some soccer and enjoy this beautiful morning. Okay, change of plans. How about we play soccer in Central Park this morning? Babe. So you want to see the real side of medicine? This is the real side of medicine. It is now 1.45 p.m. Had a nice soccer game this morning. And I was just getting dressed, showered, shaved, did my hair, got all my clothes on. We were going to go out for a Mother's Day brunch with my mother-in-law because we were not going to be able to spend Mother's Day with her next week. So we wanted to do a little Sunday brunch. But I just got called in about an emergent case. So I had to take all my nice clothes off, put on my scrubs, and we're scheduling the case for around 3, 3.30, 4 p.m., something like that. And I have to get it all set up. Well, everything is set up now. I just have to go in and do it. And Andrana left to go have brunch with her family that I was supposed to be at. You know, I might as well finish this off with a bang. This is one of those super complex procedures that I'll probably never do again in my life. So might as well get my money's worth, right? Let's go. We're back to the hospital. So I have a pretty complicated case to do right now. We're basically reconstructing the entire portal mesenteric venous system. So this should take a while. Usually these cases take around, I don't know, three, four hours, sometimes two hours, sometimes six hours. So I guess we're finishing the fellowship off with a bang today, aren't we? You know what I was just thinking about? The very first case I did when I took call in North Carolina, the very first weekend I ever took call, on a Sunday, I got a phone call about someone who had an occluded portomesenteric system, transferred over, did a thrombolysis thrombectomy. That was the very first case I did on my very first Sunday call ever. 
And here I am almost two years later, finishing my entire training on call and I'm doing the exact same procedure. That's kind of crazy. Started with this and we'll end with it. All right, so that was fun. That was an absolute crazy case. It's 8.30 now. So that was, what, five hours? I don't even remember what time I got here. But I'm starving right now. And uh, big shout out to uh, Danny and the whole anesthesia squad for keeping that patient alive, on point, the whole time. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Shout out to anesthesia and all the anesthesiologists out there. You guys always keep our patients rock solid stable and we appreciate it. All right. So it is late at night now, like nine o'clock, Sunday night. I don't even know if I mentioned that it was Sunday, but I'm headed home now. I really hope this patient doesn't re-lead overnight. That's kind of a concern of ours right now. And if that happens, I'm gonna have to come back in. But let's hope. Let's keep our fingers crossed for me. So on that note, this is my official last call vlog during fellowship. Hope you all enjoyed it. I'm just gonna go ahead and end it here because I'm gonna give myself good vibes that I'm not gonna come in tonight. On the note, as always, follow me on YouTube, Instagram. Follow me on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all on the next video.